on Zoom. We'll need our Zoomers to be making motions and tokens tonight. <laughs> uh, minutes from November have been circulated. Are there any comments or corrections to the minutes? If not, is there a motion to approve the minutes as submitted? So moved. Thank you, Tom. Second? I'll second. Thanks. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? All right, thank you. Good and welfare, we got no good and no welfare tonight. Good. Communications. Page three of your package. <coughs> Excuse me, does anybody have any questions regarding the communication? I was just gonna point out one, um, since both Dana and, and um, Tom are on, uh, this EA group, landscape architects are supplying us with the notification for a GP3 permit application for Little Mountains Estates. It's a stream bank restoration project. Uh, if you're not familiar with Little Mountains Estates, it's the trailer court that's up um, on Kings Highway, um, just past the uh, white tail development. And um, it was a project that was actually listed at one time. I think it may still be included in the uh, county's hazard mitigation plan because of the precarious situations with the trailers in the creek right next to it. Um, I have some pictures in here that are kind of amazing. I mean, you can see like the tanks for some of the uh, uh, mobile homes right here, and there's the creek. So you can see it's like right there alongside of the creek. Um, there's a couple of gentlemen that are in the photo right there. You can see how deep the cut is and the uh, um, the erosion that's taking place along the side of the, uh, the creek facing the trailer court. So I'm going to pass this around to the other position members so they can see it. Isn't that a requirement? Is that a requirement that trailer parts be located in floodplains? <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be. <laughs> oh, nice. I don't know, Jim. I think that that's uh, that's probably what they try to avoid. <laughs> not doing a very good job of it. <laughs> that's a, how long yeah. ago was that trailer court put into the township, Tom? Has it been there forever? <laughs> uh, it it has been a long time. Yeah. Is that yeah, it's, I, it's I not in the, exactly? It's, it's in Rye Township, correct? Am I right? It's not in the borough. It's it's pretty close to the line right there. I think it's in the township. Mm, I don't. I didn't think so. No, that's that's in the borough. That nope. that is in the borough. Is it, is it, okay, I'm so, pretty sure it's in the borough. Yeah, okay. yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I mean, as, as deep as deep as that channel has has down cut there, it's it's likely that uh, um, you know, there may have been some fill involved at one point in the past, which is typically the case. They'll fill and then and then they'll those channels will downcut. But uh, anyway, the GP three gives them two hundred and fifty uh, feet of of uh, bank stabilization. Uh, okay, there may be there may be some runoff coming from up the mountain as well with the development going on up above there, which would not surprise me. That wouldn't surprise me either. Hmm. It, it's I know that. I know, and I think it was the, is it 2013 or 2014 when we had the big snow event there? Um, there was, uh, I think there was some flooding that came through the park, jumped the banks and was out. Actually, uh, it may have pushed a couple of those trailers. Well, that wasn't the first time. That really, that's been flooded a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah, it has been. I guess it was something shortly thereafter, but that's been mm -hmm. there. Yeah, that. Those the tanks are a little scary though. You know, you get tanks right there that could get cut loose or hit, ruptured. Oh, they'll no point. <laughs> That's all I have in communications to bring to your attention. Anybody have any questions? 
Mark, we move on to uh, payment of expenses. Motion to approve. Second. A second. All in favor, aye. 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 Closed. All right. I went forward for a different one. <laughs> uh, treasurer's report is attached in your materials. Is there a motion to approve the treasurer's report? So moved. I'll motion. Nope. I'll take one of you as a motion, one as a second. Um, and then then a second. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 <laughs> All right. Staff reports. Is that is that you, Steve? Oh, the LPA first. Oh, LPA first. Yeah. All right. LPA. Um, so, met with the Bloomfield Boroughs Planning Commission and Watts Township Planning Commission. Um, in Bloomfield, we discussed um, uh, primarily the uh, the solar um, project on the eastern end of town on the uh, uh, let's see it's the Dan Paul and uh, Jeff Paul um, property. It's, uh, Basically on the north side and um, Newport Road in back of the homes there, the front right along the highway. Um, empty field basically that's by the water plant back towards where um, um yeah, the, the old Tuscora um hardwoods the we got building center was out at the end of town. Oh, yeah. So um in any event, we do have that's one of the plans that's in the monthly review report. Um so that was part of the discussion. Um one of the things that's sticking points with the uh the portion that's situated in Bloomfield is that it's not a permitted use in the agricultural um district. Is it permitted anywhere? Um, they don't have specific solar provisions in their ordinance, but they do have public facilities mentioned in their industrial and commercial areas. So, you know, the applicant uh, representing the solar company was basically telling the borough um, the district allows for this use. And I don't know, you know, whether it's gonna something's gonna have to give there. So I don't know what direction I, I think that the uh it sounded as if the uh, solicitor's already taken a look at it and he's of the opinion too that the use is allowed elsewhere in the borough um and not in that ag district. So I don't know, you know, that I think at the same time they were also um, undertaking a review in Center Township that evening for their portion. Um, I think there's like four acres in the borough. The majority of it situates and they're situated in the township. So um, they could still potentially do the project. Obviously, Center Township does not have zoning. So, you know, that's still a viable option for them. It's not kind of completely uh, wiped off the uh, project list, you know, if they decide to just go with one municipality. Um, but that would require the plan to be revised and, and whatnot too, to right. eliminate the floor on the one side of the border. Uh, the second item was that they discussed at Bloomfield, um, Talmudic University, the Ashel, property up here, the former Carson Long property. Um, I, I guess that they were looking to put in student housing. Um, and I don't know, um, I guess they were talking about the, the requirement for them to submit the land development plan for that particular housing project. So um, they, they have notified Talmudic that they need to supply them with land development plans. So we should be seeing that in, I would say, within the month, maybe or two. Public sewer up there. Um, 
Yes, I believe so, Jim. I think that that the sewer line may go up and service the Naples right now. Um, there, portion of that property is in the borough, and then portion of that's in the township too. <laughs> so, you're you're into a prior situation where multiple municipalities will have to do a review on that. Um, the next item was uh, with Watts Township, the applicant for the warehouse. Um, this is uh, the new name for, I guess, MRP Industrial uh, is the company that's actually pursuing it, but they're going to be calling it Susquehanna Crossings. And uh, this was the uh, kind of a summary of you know the project itself. They actually supplied it to me at the meeting. So you're welcome to take a look at that here. Um, maybe, maybe um, I don't have a digital copy of it, but we could potentially scan it in and send it out to the rest of the commission members. I think we do that. Yeah, that's obviously. A We're going to probably be getting a land development plan on that in January, according to. Um, Mr. Clymer, who was the uh, um, the agent representing representing um, MRP, um, he also well. Let's see what else do we have here at the at the Watts Township meeting. Not not only did they discuss discuss that with the um, individuals that were present, um, they also heard. Um, some follow up on their solar the solar project that's in their township uh, for the rich Sandra Richmond property. Um, which one? So we get too many which one. Any of that? It's it's just up off from um, Old Trail Road up on the hill there. It was a subdivision that we saw a couple of years ago, maybe last year, earlier last year, maybe. Um, there was also um, talk about a poultry operation in Watts Township, and uh, that was that was uh, I guess the focus of a zoning hearing that we do have on our communications incoming that came through from. Um, Sorry, sent that to us. Alan Hench's office. That was on Fifty Seven Black Snake Road. And I think the community, well, no, that's where the, I'm sorry, that's where the, the hearing was held. It was at the uh, community center. The uh, the property, now the owners are Brandon Castle and Brandy Castle, listed at 41 Modern Road, Bone Cannon. So apparently, that's the uh, that's the address where the the uh, chicken barn's going to be going or being looked at. So it was being considered for a special exception. So that's all I have on LPA report. Of the, I'm sorry, the warehouse mm -hmm. folks submitted a TIS, a traffic improvement study, to the municipal engineer. I guess the municipal engineer. Um, I guess reviewed it and it was to his satisfaction. So, Steve, you're up. <laughs> All right. Well, just picking up where Jason left off, um, you know, relating to that the, the proposed warehouse development in Watts. Um, you may remember that Hacks has undertaken a, a study for basically for access management options along that stretch of 11 and 15 from that site up through uh, New Buffalo, um, basically that section that's free access, looking at what options are there to manage access to 11 and 15, especially when uh, the barrier is built there to the, to the south and there's increased development potential. So, uh, the other area that's part of that same study is looking at the, I guess what I would call the square in downtown Duncannon um, in anticipation of some additional volumes or different activity there. We're also looking at what improvements might be warranted there. 
Um, and in terms of the uh, Watts Warehouse, Jason was just mentioning that traffic impact study where I was actually trading emails today with the traffic engineer um, working for that developer. And we're trying to agree on a date in early January when we can share the study work that Gannett is doing with what they're doing and see if we can't come up with some kind of mutually acceptable improvements, some of which uh, PennDOT might pay for and others uh, hopefully would be paid by the developer. So like Jason said, if you have a plan from them in uh, January, we'll probably also have some you know, what the result of those discussions with the, you know, where the developer has been. So a lot of stuff going on with that one. Um, other thing here, transportation wise, we're actually going to be doing an awful lot of outreach here in 2023 with municipalities, because not only is this a tip development year where we're looking for transportation needs that we can match um, to the funds, we also will hopefully have a safety plan for the region uh, in the works. We went after a federal grant for that. We're doing some congestion uh, planning as well. So there's just a, a lot of stuff going on there. Um, we'll be doing a lot of outreach to the municipalities, but as, but as you guys know, sometimes that's a challenge uh, to get input from the municipalities. So if you have any uh, rare knowledge of folks, uh, Steve, Steve, you're drowning out a little bit. Oh, can you hear me okay now? Yep. Okay. Sorry about that. So anyway, you know, I'm just saying if you can help us uh, with any outreach, if you have connections with uh, municipal folks that might be interested in, particularly in uh, future improvement uh, projects, that kind of stuff, wouldn't wouldn't hurt to grease the skid a little for us if you can. Um, another. Another thing there, uh, last thing, I think, from a transportation perspective, uh, I think I told you before that HACS funded a series of uh, improvements to a half dozen uh, cover bridges um, in Perry County. So there's going to be a lot of uh, repair and preventive maintenance stuff done on those over the next couple of years. And in addition to that, we also had a funding pool that we created um for local bridge uh improvement so we're now we've been working with the county bridge engineer to identify and prioritize for us county and municipal owned bridges that are that can accept federal funds um we have um basically two million dollars available on the current tip um to make improvements to those types of bridges so we're in the process of figuring out which bridges those will be, and then that uh, should be an ongoing program. So it's going to be a continual basis that we're looking for that. Um, um, oh, last thing from a, I do have one more thing transportation wise. I think we've mentioned this before too. We've been along with the county. I mean, Gary and Brenda were heavily involved in this, and ourselves and Rabbit Transit. Um, and uh, the community services folks, we've been involved in this study that's funded by the National Science Foundation um, for assessing, you know, the special challenges for commuters in Perry County trying to get, you know, whether it's in the Carlisle area or Harrisburg area, you know, what are the difficulties they have and what range of things might we do better uh, to make the community um, easier or more effective. Um, and they just, you may have seen signs or received a postcard or something like that. Um, they're right now they're in the process of trying to get input through a, a citizen survey. And the last I checked, uh, Jason, what was it, like 2,200 surveys or something like that had been submitted. So they're, they're getting real good response to that. Uh, the hope is that um, here over the winter months, the Penn State folks along with us will kind of make sense out of those survey responses and come up with a proposal because the the opportunity is that they may qualify for a million dollar uh, National Science Foundation grant uh, to implement whatever comes out of this particular study. So we're hopeful that that will uh, happen here over the winter months. 
Uh, so in that, um, Jason, you know, there's, there's a number of items under Barron County for the uh, progress report. I don't know if you had a couple of things you might want to highlight as well. Yeah, I'm I, I just kind of following uh, Steve on that commuter survey. Um, one of the things that we we're trying to do is reach out to uh, the top employers in Dolphin and Perry County um, to try to get contacts that we could distribute the survey through their businesses um, to employees that work for their company that commute from Perry County in case they hadn't filled the survey out. That way, the you know, the hope was that maybe we can catch them at the other end, you know, if they haven't seen the signs, if they haven't caught wind of this. Um, so, so we do have email addresses from Credic has helped us get that information. They put us in touch with uh, the folks um, that they work with um, for getting word out to major businesses. They they basically have that email list that we were hoping for. So you're talking about private businesses. Yes. The biggest business in the area is state government. Oh, I know, but you know, they get their help. Th that's that's one of those that we don't have i mean every department's going to have their own email so that that would be a that would be another area that we would have to i mean there's a lot of people i know i know exactly what you're saying the and they are I mean, the ones that, uh, yeah uh, you know uh, uh corporal sure sure and i you know i we don't we have some points of contact for some of the departments, but there's, I mean, the, I suggest you dig deeper there. Because maybe the office of um, administration, maybe the office of administration would be the primary point to like see it distributed amongst the, you know, employees, PA government wise or wide. That's where the public carpool. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll suggest that to Vikash and see if, See if that's kind of the route he would want to go for. You don't the fit, you're not getting the whole picture. Yeah, I know. I know exactly what you're saying, Bob. All right. All right. We'll, we'll see. And, and maybe a lot of them have already filled this out. I mean, that's a lot of surveys that we got back. So I'm I'm pleased with that result. Um, as far as like just general planning items to kind of cover, uh, I've started work on the annual report. I've met with the commissioners um, and the folks at the Susquehanna Crossings, they were encouraging the commissioners to help them, assist them, and and um, trying to facilitate their permitting process with DEP, um, because they're going to be putting their own package system on there. They're, they, what they're saying is they want to oversize it and try to dedicate it to the municipality, but I don't think the municipality is in a position where they want to take on. A sewer plant, um, but you know, with that type of additional capacity, maybe there might be enough incentive for them to maybe say, "Hey, this would be better if it were municipally owned." In the end, and if they were going to pay for the, you know, the improvements to begin with, then you know, it might be a situation where they could hook on some of the other properties that are in that area that may have, you know, on the or have potentially malfunctioning type systems on those properties. Good luck with that. It's it's actually the I asked him, I said, is are you digging how are you getting the permit to cross 11 and 15? Because they're going to have an outfall on the Susquehanna side. So they're going to have to bore, I think. I think it's a it's either a boring that they would have to do underneath the line. Cross either that or 22 three times. Either way. Yeah. It's it's going yeah it's going over eleven and fifteen way, so that's a wide, wide uh, crossing there. Um, as far as uh, outreach goes, we you know every month we meet with the EDA folks. I give them kind of an update of what things we're working on. Um, attended the uh, county grants coordinating committee meeting. I'm, you know, actively involved in that group. Uh, attended an annual review of Bloomfield Borough's source water protection plan. They, that was their time to have that kind of looked at to see what they've been able to implement as far as that plan goes. So that's uh, all I have. Any questions?
And I'm going to mention, do these guys know that there's a shopping mall called Susquehanna Crossings that is right on just off of 81? Seems like that's oh, a, their program. Yeah. Yeah, that's Seems right. Like there's a potential yeah, source for confusion. You know, that's a good point, Joe. Mm -hmm. I, I I thought the name sounded familiar, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's in it's in Susquehanna Township. It's one. Is it is it Susquehanna Crossings or is it Susquehanna Commons? Pro oh, wait a minute. The other one, Commons. Commons. I think well, maybe, maybe it is. You might be. I think you're right, Dana. <laughs> But it, it's something like that, though. You don't shop there, do you? Well, we'll have to ask Jerry, Steve. I can't. I, I know that. I know that was a project. Yeah, I know that project uh, went in. Uh, it's a fairly recent project. That's that's where Banana Republic is, and and. Uh, oh, are they? Okay. The what the um, the the cooking store? Uh, what was that? It was there. Everybody gets their utensils at that store. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Hear that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Um, so we we'll want unfinished business pop planning. Uh, there's been two of the three final chapters uh, for the basic studies component. Uh, in picture Perry have been completed and are now posted that, that they are transportation and community facilities and utilities. The only one that remains is economic um, and all that. Room. So we'll, I'm, I have a few tables to go on that. I'm hoping to have it done by the end of the year. All right. Fingers crossed. Anything new on hazard mitigation? We Staff assisted our fiscal office. Uh, Diane was assisting me um, in communicating with um, the fiscal office, which was contacted by Pima for the 2019 audit on the pre-disaster mitigation grant for the current or the current hazard mitigation plan, kind of to close it out. Um, I guess they're content with what we had supplied the last time. So uh, thanks to Diane. And she keeps good records when it comes to finances. So um, as far as uh, the current plan or the, the plan that we're looking to update in 2025, we've um, been requested to supply a quarterly report on the funding. Apparently we have the funding coming. Um, I think it's on the order of 90,000. It's gonna to be to hire a consultant to do this plan. And the grant contract doc documents, however, have not been received for signature by the commissioners. So we're having to do quarterly reports even though we don't have money flowing in and we don't have the agreement. So uh, I would hope that they would get that to us here to start the new year off on the right foot. That's it. Any questions? Um, any one action plan? Um, we, we just had a meeting Monday with our um, coordinating um, company. It's uh, HRG. They're, they've been on board uh, working with us on the cap. And it was just to co go over um, basically projects for 2023. Uh, it's a scheduling of sorts uh, and to uh, appraise everybody of the funding that was received for the next round of uh, projects. Is that kind of a good summary, Steve? Yeah, I'll just I'll just add that uh, we spent all but $58 of this year's uh, grant. So that was the target to spend that all down. We did um, the grant for 23 is actually it's. The overall grant is a little smaller than what we got in 22, but I believe what's coming to the Perry County Conservation District for their programs is actually a little bigger than what the 22 uh, grant was, so, somewhere in the vicinity of a quarter million. So, um, you know, the, the Perry County was a great partner uh, in this year's program and will even be a bigger partner next year. 
Any questions from anybody on that? Well, we'll move on to new business. Nobody here, so it is the what's up with the stall for this plan? Um, I think we're good until January 26th. Uh, the 60 day extension was um, applied to that file, so it's it's good if you want to table it till next month. Table. So mm -hmm. Is there a second? I'll second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Is that the one with Palm Palm where there was the storm water? Yeah, there's, the, there's the HOP on the access. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, it, it needs uh, some kind of breakers like coming down the driveway because the pictures, as you saw, showed they were already getting some washout debris on the roadway. So, yeah. all right. So, municipal review report, not too much there on page 17. Does anybody have any questions or want any more information about any of those projects? Hearing none, is there any uh, motion to ratify the staff's comments? All motion. Second. Second. Any, any discussion? In favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Intergovernmental reviews. Are these all? Uh, yeah, we have the first three all with this. We have similar water projects in uh, the borough. It appears like they're all coming in under the same grant. They're all this COVID 19 ARPA, PA, DCED, small water sewer grant applications, um, except the first one. They kind of wanted to include PenVest in case they decide to apply for PenVest later. Um, so that's kind of how that new one is. But we're dealing with Newport Borough, Marysville Borough. Uh, Lloydsville Village, which is Tyrone Township, obviously. Um, Mil Millerstown. I, I think I said Liverpool. Um, but anyway, those municipalities have all come in now. Liverpool came in. Uh, this didn't get out on the first email list of um, um, draft letters for consideration, but they have a water system rehabilitation project that was added on at the tail end. Um, they're, they're all supported by the comp plan. Um, and obviously we're looking at about five, let's see, $7.5 million in requested funding. And to do uh, about 8,500,000, closer to 8,800,000 uh, in total project um, expenses. So it's a lot of, a lot of infrastructure needs clearly obvious every time we see these intergovernmental reviews. Jason, hey, do you have any questions? Yeah, is the, the, there any information on the uh, Marysville Borough, uh, the Lions Club Park Pond Water Quality Improvement Plan? What what are they proposing, or do you have any information to that to that effect? Yes, I do. Just a second. I think it's basically the substance of the letter uh, basically identifies their intent for what they want to do with the with the request. It's, it's the same project, I think, Tom, that they've been trying for for the last year and a half. It's dealing with their MS4 um, credits. They're trying to improve the the several BMPs with the pond, the outfall structure, uh, the southernmost end of the pond, um, pond excavation to increase the storage capacity and sediment settling, um, you know, capture, um, and then also bank stabilization. So they're gonna dredge, yeah. 
So either. they'll yeah they'll dredge dredge the sediments out from from that that's another stormwater pond that was built years ago and uh, has had a lot of uh, stuff uh, yeah, flowing into it. Mm-hmm. But uh, anyway, and it's so, it's it's beyond its capacity is the problem. So yeah, yeah. so they're looking at also at a, like a bottom. I don't know just just. Yeah, this just seems to be good money after bad sometimes, but anyway. Yeah, they need <clears throat> they need some source controls up in the uh up in the developments, not not down at the bottom, because you can't treat it to that effect. You have a lot of signing to do. Any any other questions? <laughs> Anybody feel the need to call any of these out individually? If not, we'll take a motion. All right, motion to approve all of them. Yeah. I'll second. We've been seconded. Any further discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 All right. That's still right. Anything or, else? Or to, yeah. <laughs> I have something. Okay. <laughs> so apo- apologies for not being here. I caught uh, COVID last month and that sucks. Um, I am pregnant and expecting our first kid in April. So um, I know next month we have our reorganization meeting. I unfortunately will not be able to attend because I have a childbirth class at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I wanted to uh, know if there's anything that would need my attention uh, before then, or if there was anything you needed from me that I could provide before the meeting. Okay. You're interested in continuing to serve. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I think she's. I know. I think I don't think anybody's terms are coming up due this year. I think this is a one of those free and clear years. I think. Okay. I'll have to double check just to make sure. But if if it is a case that any of the terms are ending and expiring, I will let you know. I'll get in touch with you immediately. Okay. Everybody know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that there is though. I think I looked at it once. Okay. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Dana. Thank you, Your thank life you. As, as you have known it is officially <laughs> over. <laughs> uh, I have a uh, I, I have blinders on to that fact right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, something we've wanted for a long time. So that's great. Yeah. I'm just very old to be going through this, and my body hates me right now. <laughs> hey Jim, if I can just add one more thing for you, and uh, you folks probably are aware that uh, Gary Eby, with the new year, is stepping down as commissioner. Um, the only uh, the thing I'd add to that is that um, they he authorized or the commissioners authorized that uh, Brenda is officially taking his spot on hats. So she even participated in this past meeting and we'll be, we're actually coming to talk to her about all things transportation here in early January, but Brenda will be your new hats rep. Yeah, I enjoyed her comment about trying to learn the acronyms because I think was, I was on that for five years or more before I <laughs> with all of the acronyms that yeah, we're, around. We're, we're gonna give her a test in late January. <laughs> and is- I had a I had reached out to Jason about it. If you need anybody to tag in for hats, I, like I'm definitely interested in it. Okay. You're certainly welcome to participate in any of the hats meetings. We can make sure you get the notices. But uh, yeah anyway just wanted to make everybody aware that that change happened. Okay. Anything else we go to the order? If not, the meeting will stand adjourned. Uh, hey, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, everybody. You too. Likewise. Thanks, Steve. Same. Bye, everyone. Happy holidays, everyone. Is, is, it, is that one? Is that black or is that green? It's black. No, I mean, what, what I'm scribbling on there. That's green. <laughs> <laughs>